eighth round. Not an easy fight to read, Jim, is it? Petru does a lot of eye-catching stuff. Kelly does some strong looking punches yeah but i suppose on punch volume you'd probably say Petrude is ahead i have Petrude two rounds in front at the moment uh, he's never been any more than two rounds i had him two rounds and then kelly trimmed it back a bit but i have him two rounds in front at the moment but all the, the rounds are closely contested and I'm, I'm not saying the referee will be seeing it the same way i do well we said at the start that uh, Petrude enjoys these wars of attrition the old tank rolls on and he's still going strong he overcame the rush start by rocky see kelly's getting caught with his head up in the air a bit more often now that's a sign of tiredness he, you know, he doesn't have his neck and shoulders as tense as they should be his head's been knocked up in the air once or twice there You won't see fights with more honest endeavour than this in a championship fight, Jim. No, no, Neither really. of them you would honestly call top craftsmen, but they give value, don't they? They get stuck in. Yeah, it's going to crack and fight all the way through. <laughs> Minute to go in the eighth. Looks as though both sets of supporters have quite not quietened down. But they, they, when they see Rocky Kelly's right eye has just been cut there as they've been bundling in, that's a blow to him. That's a pity, really. I hope that doesn't uh, worsen and stop a, you know, a real cracker of a fight like this. And not that Petru needs spurring on by any chance, but. Uh, I suppose he really feels he's got the other man a little bit on the hook when he draws blood like that. <laughs> so the old amateur coach there, Holland, working as I said, on that cut around Kelly's right eye. And a little nick on the left eye, Jim. It becomes a little bit hard to take late in a fight, doesn't it? This marks around the face like that. Yeah, well, in that round, uh, Kelly's head, it was caught quite off from his head, straight up in the air. And as I say, that is a, a kind of sign of tiredness. I think maybe he's feeling the pace a bit more than Petru. Petru threw a lot of punches, so I'm not surprised Kelly has some facial damage to show for it. to the ninth round. And as Jim Watt and I have been saying, it hasn't been that easy a fight to judge. It's been a really cracking fight. Looks as though the, the Greek tank from Birmingham, Costas Petru, could just be edged in front now. And Kelly with cuts around the eyes there, a little bit under fire, but he's always strong until the last. I've seen him several times. Pull a fight well out of the fire when you thought he was lost. They're certainly having trouble now just trying to stalk the flow of that cut because it's reopened again. He's always been confident, Costas Petru, but you can almost see it now, Jim. 
absolutely surging now, doesn't it? Yeah, well, he must be happy. He must uh, himself feel he's ahead in points, and he sees he's drawing blood from uh, both of Kelly's eyes, and he must be feeling good within himself. Uh, he knows uh, how well he's last on the pace, and I think there's been more sign of tiredness in Kelly's work than there has been in Petrus. So I think he's every reason to be quite happy with himself at the moment. But one of Kelly's right hands could change that. Oh, yes. Uh, one whack in this game can cancel out the arrears. But he's well on top again in this round, Costa Petrus. Oh, three on the turn, left hooks, and he looked as though he was going, but put, managed to pull himself together. But I'm wondering if he can hold out now in this round. It's about a minute left. And Petru senses it, he's willing to spit his gum shield out. He's got it hanging out of his mouth, but he's battling away there, Costas Petru. And Dakin's going to dive in in the ninth round. And the Greek tank from Birmingham really switched it on when it mattered. Full steam ahead in the ninth, and he simply wore Kelly down. Had him cut up, and it was quite a good finish there. He, he made up his mind he wasn't going to let the guy off the hook. Jim? Well, I've criticised Petru once or twice uh, in some of his earlier fights, but I can't criticise him tonight. That was a first-class performance. Right from the start, he stayed with Kelly when Kelly was strong, gradually wore him down. And then the finish was uh, first class uh, and a timely intervention from the referee. That was a great performance from Petru. He's impressed me more than he's ever done in the past. Well, it looks as though he could fight your old stable mate Lloyd Hannigan now. They've fought once, Jim. He probably deserves another shot at him, eh? Maybe for the European. Yeah, well, he's one.